KLS Sports FM89 in association with Water now brings your exciting feature Water in the Locker Room. We'll take a look at selected teams participating in the Issa Schoolboy Football Leagues across Jamaica. Welcome to the Water in the Locker Room. Inside this edition, we'll take a walk through a defending Manning Cup champions, Kingston College. Hear from key players, their super fan, the head coach, and the head of the physical education department. So we're here with Dwayne Atkinson, third year this season at Kingston College, and he's back and hoping to take his team into 2019 title. Dwayne, tell us a little bit about your time at KC. Well, it's a great feeling at Kingston College to know that you have some great students who participate and help us in certain areas that we can. I understand that you do fairly well in the classroom and you've been able to balance work on and off the field. Tell us how you manage to do that. It's hard enough to know that you have training and then you have to study after school because you know that it's coming to sexy time. So I get a lot of help from friends and families who are around me and support me in every way. What kind of pressure you feel you're under? One, you're going to have to go defend your title on your team. How you feel? No, you have put in the work, you know that you have up and down, chain hard, because once you chain hard, you have to get everything in life that you need. I'm here for Kingston College, you know, come to defend our titles and looking for a great season this year. So let's look for Kingston College this year, 2019. Be my shield, the brave may fall but never yield. One, two, three. Both One, two, three. One, two, three. Both One, two, three. Both One, two, three. Both We have Michael Allen with us who scored that all-important equaliser in the 2018 competition which turned the fortunes of KC to let them win after 32 years. Michael, how you feel in the team now having to defend your title? Well, as a senior player now, I just have to work hard and put out effort on the field so that the younger ones can follow my hard work and hope it will pay off one day. What, if any, kind of extra effort are you putting in to ensure that KC successfully defend their title? We're looking to go all the way. We'll do everything that's possible. 110 percent every match. That's my goal this season. What are some of the things you guys do together off the field to ensure that you remain a team and a bond? Well, we talk a lot, run jokes with each other, play games, and we camp a lot. Um, that's a thing coach believes in. We need to have a bond, so we stick around each other as often as possible. Here with us we have Siobhan Gale and Ari Rogers. Siobhan comes from Morant Bay High School and of course you know Ari from Uganda and they're both are like the best of friends in the team. Tell us about your experience at KC so far. KC has been very great so far. The experience is tremendous. What role do you play in the team? My role is to press and score goals. How many goals have you gone so far this season? Three. You're ahead of Ari, so far. who we'll hear from now, who was one of the top goal scorers in last year's competition. Ari, tell us how many goals you've gone so far this season. Uh, so far, i gone just one goal. I, so far, I'm not having a good season as yet, but I hope um, to do better than that. Well, Ari, some people would know you from your exploits in the steeplechase and the 5,000. Are you preparing for that also this season? From um, 2017, I've been a defending champion. I'm looking forward to come back and defend my titles. All right, so a little pressure is on KC to defend their title. Tell us if you think that can happen. It's always difficult to defend a title, but mentally we are prepared and ready to go and defend our title. We're here with the head coach. Ludlow Bernard, who is in his fifth season <laughs> as head coach for Casey's Manning Cup team. What has it been like, coach? Yeah, man, we're looking forward to successfully defending our title, which we have dubbed Operation Repeat. So we are all energized by the fact that we can be repeat champions. And we're looking forward for that moment of glory when it comes around again. What has made this team click, coach? Motivation from last year's successes, as well as an ingrained habit of winning titles. They consider themselves winners and um, they figure that it is their divine right to be winning again. You scored a whopping 52 goals in the 2018 season. Yeah. Are you on target to repeat that 
As I told them before, two things I am not, I won't be perturbed about. Scoring a lot of goals and for individuals within the group to be seeking individual glory of being the leading goal scorer. If it comes, it must be because of a team effort. Daryl Grant is with us. He's regarded as one of the super fans for Casey's Manning Cup side. Daryl, how does the season look so far? Without a doubt, the season has been hectic for the team, as I've seen so far. And we can take it home as we did last time. If you should want to invite other supporters out to matches, just tell them why is it a good reason to watch KC for the rest of the season. We have a lot of experienced footballers that are full of abilities to push the team. So if you want to see a good schoolboy football team, come to Kingston College and you'll see it. Richard Smith is with us. He's the head of the physical education department here at Kingston College. Richard, thanks for having us here at KC. You're welcome, and thanks for being here today. Kingston College has a rich history in sports. Tell us, how does the school prepare for its football program going forward? We have a, a strong and rich tradition in terms of sports. Not also football, but also track and field as well, because as you know, we won the boys and girls championship this year. But in terms of football, our football program has been going forward in terms of preparation for the boys. We also put in special programs for boys who have difficulties in terms of learning. We finish regular classes, then they come for evening class, then after that they have training. Following your success of 2018, how has that precipitated the school into expanding their sports program? It has done tremendous for us so far. A lot of persons want to come on board help us in terms of going forward with our football program. They realize that Kingston College is not just in terms of sports also, in terms of education as well going forward because we have a lot of boys who got scholarships to go overseas and looking forward so far, we are doing well. You must come under a lot of pressure as the head of the P department. How have you balanced your own management of physical education at the school in regards to competitions? Well, to tell you the honest you, I come under a lot of pressure, if you come on to that, because as you know, basically, KC's, the old boys normally say, if they're not winning, there's no success. So at times, they recourse and say this and say that, but I don't mind because at the end of the day, I know, Everybody wants to be a winner, but in order for you to be a winner, you can't just jump from A go to B like that. It has to be a stepping stone. Any expectations for the Manning Cup competition for 2019? Yes, we are going to retain our title for this year. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Water in the locker room today came to you from Kingston College, where they say the brave may fall but never yield. They are defending champions for the 2018 Manning Cup. Can they do it again? Thanks for tuning in. Looking forward to seeing you. Until next time.